Okay guys, what you've just seen is just a sprite animation that I put together. So, to do that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start a new project so that you guys know how that is put together. I'll just call it sprite animation. So let's click on create, then we take it from there, click on create. There we go. System is now building up. Okay guys, so let's start a new tutorial now but what i'll do first of all i'm going to right click in here and let's just select plane and uh, i'm going to make the size about 1000 by one by 1000 that is it done now i need my sprites so let me show you the sprite I'm, i intend to use that is the sprite that i intend to use okay and I am now going to go straight into my folder and just drag the sprite, dump it right there. Okay, the sprite is coming now. Okay, guys, we have this sprite on board. I'm going to minimize this. Now, that is the sprite right there. Look at that. Okay, select the sprite and go straight to the inspector. You see where we have texture type drop it down select sprite 2d and ui and right underneath you will see sprite mode drop that down and select multiple there we go and here you see where we have sprite editor i'm going to click on that and select apply now as you can see i have an error the system is telling me that i need to download 2d sprite package click on ok go straight to your windows select package manager and in here i'm just going to type in 2d sprite and let's search for that or you can just come in here let's select unity register and right there that that is it right there i'm going to click on install there that is it installing there we go it's finished installing so I'm gonna close that okay back in here select the sprite again you see where we have the make sure you've set all of these the texture type the sprite mode should be multiple and right underneath here click on sprite editor yeah here comes the editor now right inside the editor, okay, if you want to drag it so that you can see it all, sometimes it's going to look a little bit too small for you to see this slice. So what you need to do is drop down the slice, see where we have type, okay. You can select what type you want, how you want to look at that. That is uh, using the pixels. A 64 by 64 but definitely I'm not going to be using that and this is me now using the column so I'm going to say about how many columns do I have in there I have about 6 by 5 so change that to 6 by 5 but unfortunately because the sprite is not well positioned the, the grid is not doing what I want so I'm going to change that to automatic in the case of automatic, once I click on slice, the system automatically recognizes each image. So I'm going to click on apply. And there, look at that. And that is it. I can now close this. Now, if you come back in here, you now have a player head. If you drop it down, every single image is now broken down into an individual image. Okay, so I'm going to select each of this image. Let's see if I can hold on to the control, select it all. But there's one there that I don't want, this very one. I don't want that. Okay, select it all. Now, I'm going to drag it straight onto my screen. See, it's right there, but it's very small. You cannot see it. I think the camera is somewhere here. Yeah. A dump it right there now it's asking me to give it a name I'm just gonna call it anime anime sprite there 
now click on save it's right there you can see so I'm gonna change the size to something like 5 by 5 by 5 there we go now we can see the sprite a little bit it's much better that is nice let's go into the game see move the game down here so that we can position it properly so make sure it's selected I just want us to be able to see it properly so if I run it now the sprite will actually start animating just dancing and so on look at that guys you see that that's beautiful so all I just need to do is just to right click here and just create duplicates there just create as many duplicates as you want the choice is yours right there maybe one more okay now we have some sprites in place to play around with they run that again now I'm going to add music to it and that music I actually downloaded it from uh, YouTube the artist is called Nathan Moore so I'm gonna say thanks to Nathan Moore let me get hold of the music that is the music there so let's come right inside my project collapse this drag the music let's drag it on board there we go the music is there now there we go guys so I'm going to minimize this that is the music now I will select the plane itself scroll right down go to the add component and I will add audio source that is the audio source added so I will now drag the music just dump it in here and play on awake I will leave it enabled then I also select loop there so let's try it out but before then you see the game I want it just select that and where we have play focus I'm going to maximize that and let's run it there we go look at that That's good so the next thing I want to do now is just to you see this very ground there so I'm gonna change the name to ground that's the plane let's change it to ground okay you see the ground they're dancing on I want to make sure it has colors different colors so to do that I already have a tutorial of uh, color animation or color material changing material with uh, different colors on YouTube already so I'm gonna just grab hold of the lines of codes I think it's right here that is the lines of code I actually use it for the demonstration that I showed to you guys earlier grab the lines of code just dump it right in there there we go I can now minimize this that is the lines of code I will open it up once it's ready okay now let's open the codes there we go and right up here those are the two colors so that I'll be fading from actually fading from white to blue then underneath here the other serialized field so that is the the speed at which the fading will take effect and right in here I now have the renderer that would be the cache reference to the renderer and underneath here where we have public and I have where I convert time to a, uh, to a number that will smoothly move between minus one to one and right underneath I have to convert these to one that will move from zero to two as well then underneath here as I'm actually interpolating between the colors here just interpolating between the two colors and right below that is where I apply the new color right here here I interpolated between the two colors apply the colors to the new color okay so have a good look at the lines of codes that is it right there from here 
down here okay let's save that and go straight to our editor there now it's compiling okay the next thing I'm going to do now is I'm going to select the ground okay now scroll right down I've then drag my lines of code just dump it right here there we go those are the colors it's actually going to fade from white to blue so let me show you guys how that works click on run it's coming up now I also added some other components to to the uh, demonstration so I'm going to go in here let's select the cube and that is the cube right there now I want the cube to be let's increase the size of this cube to about 12 yeah that is fine there so the cube will be right at the back I can increase this to maybe 4 by 4 something like that just yes, something just to jazz it jazz it up a little bit there let's move it up this very cube that i've placed in there i'm now going to convert that cube before i convert it to a prefab i'm going to drag the color dump it on it now move this very cube drag it drop it in here it's now a prefab so i can change individual color so i'm just going to now copy right click or just drag this dump it in there let's make sure i have my okay so drag another one i only i just use my game as a reference okay that's fine now maybe just one more just one more and uh, maybe put that in between the two of them uh, let's see okay that's good so if I run it now this is what you guys will see let's see it's coming up there and there we go look at that for those colors I'm going to change it I'm going to change the colors for the cube so click on this one and just change it to whatever color I want maybe the red and change this one as well yep that's fine and next one change that to maybe green and change this other one to something like that okay next let's select it here or oh, I think it's here yeah change that as well right and change this Think there's one more okay that will do so when I run it this is what you guys will see this is coming up now there we go look at that okay guys so with that I'm gonna call it the end of this tutorial I suppose you guys enjoy it and please do subscribe to my channel and you can also join to become a member of the channel and you all have a nice day now and bye for now so let's listen to the music yeah.